y'all. Um, <clears throat> my fault. I had a moment. It's cool or whatever. Um, but yeah, so I'm just dancing because you know we we less than a month out from Death Stranding, and you know. As we do every time we get new we'll info on this channel, even if it's away. small, from small to big, we put that on this channel because, you know, you we're covering Death Stranding and it's about to be lit. So we just got some info about how big the game is going to be. Apparently, as far as size, I think it's supposed to be smaller than Red Dead Redemption 2, right? Which y'all remember was huge. That shit is huge. But it's supposed to be bigger than Zero Dark Thirty. What? Like, yeah, I legitimately forgot the name of the freaking. I meant to. <sighs> Whatever. Save it. Horizon Zero Dawn. Anyways, um, but point is, is that that's cool because it's only gonna be 55 gigs, which is about half the size of the Red Dead Redemption 2 game, which is like well over. It's about 100. It is about 110. It's probably like 106, but you know, we might as well round up. Um, but that's how big the game is, and that's cool to know because now you know how much space you need to either get rid of or, you know, because just like anybody else, especially those like me who have the OG PS4, right? I had to swap out my hard drive with a two terabyte one because that 500 gigs just wasn't cutting it. Like, not even a little bit. It was like after I had put four or five games on it, it was already pretty much full. Yeah, it couldn't deal with that. So, I had to switch it out, so now you know how much it'll be, how big it will be, um, so that's just how much you'll have to clear up if you don't have it already. Now, what I wanted to talk about too though was the multiplayer. Now apparently, y'all know how it's asynchronous multiplayer, so it's it's integrated with the, with the online, with the single player, online, with the single player, um, which is cool because a lot of games are moving in that direction, that's awesome, or whatever, but it's nice to know that you don't actually have to participate in the multiplayer if you don't want to. Now the only thing we don't know at this point is whether or not you can disable it, like whether or not you have to disable it or um, if it's just something you just don't have to participate in. Like in Watch Dogs 2, if y'all ever played Watch Dogs 2, that was pretty integrated. You might randomly have some other, another online player be driving around and be chased by the cops or something where they might just try to hack you. But you didn't have to participate if you didn't want to. So we don't know if it's going to be like that or if it's going to be just like disabled if you have the ability to disable it. But you do know that if you don't have a PlayStation Plus subscription, you're not screwed. <laughs> so that's nice. Um, that's nice to know. Obviously, it has this whole story on its own anyways. So you can play through that regardless of whether or not you had PS Plus. But it's just nice to know that you don't need to do the multiplayer if you don't want to. Now... What's lit is that we've got, what, we got less than a month until the game comes out November 8th, and we've got even less time before reviews come out, because November 1st is when the, when it's, when the, the hold on people's reviews is, gets lifted. So on November 1st, you will see a bunch of reviews coming from all the big places, you know, Metacritic, IGN, GameSpot, GamesRadar, I'm sure they're all gonna have something that talks about it, that, that gives them a rating. Um, Y'all can quote me on this, but don't at me. I am thinking that nobody's gonna give it anything less than about a 77, you know, 76, 77. I feel like it's gonna be even better than that. I feel like a lot of places are also gonna give it in the eights. Some may even give it in the nines. I mean, this is Kojima we're talking about, and Metal Gear Solid is a staple game that is very well known and franchise-wise was great. So you guys know that. Um, so yeah, so November 1st, we get all the reviews. Like I tell everybody, cause I do it myself, is that I'm not saying don't check out the reviews, but take everything with a grain of salt. If you wanted to play it, you should play it because you may enjoy it more than whatever the rating was. Um, if a game gets rated lower than you think it is, like games have that I've played. And once I played them, I was like, I don't know why I didn't get rated you know, higher because I had a lot of fun with it, but you know, it's a, it's an average score. You know, there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna have it well above it, well below it. That's just how you get averages, whatever. Um, 
So yeah, y'all. So I'm excited. That's what we got here. Uh, this now it's 55 gigs though. Just to sell, so just so y'all know, it's 55 gigs. But that's before any patches. Let's hope that we don't really need a whole lot of patches. But that's not really new to Kojima because Metal Gear Solid 5 was big enough itself. But it was only about 30 something gigs. Like I think it was about 35, 36, close to 40. I've been playing it recently. I just looked at my story. I was getting rid of the number. But, so, I mean, you know that even when this game is completed, it, it's still not going to be a whole lot of space. So, that's nice. I mean, it's still more than Metal Gear Solid, but 55 is not the worst at all. I mean, there are games like the new Call of Duty that's going to be over 100, you know. So, it just takes up a lot of space, but that does not. So, granted, any patches that come, I feel like at most it'll get up to 60 gigs, which, you know, isn't, isn't small, um, but it's not huge. It's manageable. So that's what we're waiting for. But you know, I'm gonna catch y'all later. You feel me? I appreciate y'all watching this. I want to thank y'all again for 50 subs. I appreciate y'all watching this to the end. And if you're not subbed, y'all already know what to do. Click that bell. You feel me? Click that. Click that. 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 I'm gonna join the AGP family button. That's what that bell is. You feel me? That's well, that's what the subscribe button is. The bell is just for you to know when I drop a new video. I'm trying to drop more frequently with me and my sister. I share a computer, so it gets to be difficult sometimes because we're not in the same area, but that's neither here nor there. Point is, hit the button if y'all want to see what's up next. I'm going to do gameplay on this channel of Death Stranding. You already know, been covering it for like over a month or two, so we're going to do gameplay. I'll probably do videos on demand, but y'all should, should put in the comments whether or not you want me to live stream it too. Um, cause I was thinking about doing, I could do a walkthrough as well, I could do, you know, highlights and a walkthrough, and turn the highlights into his own kind of creation, but that's what we, that's what we're here for, so let's get into this, later, when the game comes out, I'm gonna catch y'all on the flip side, thanks again, love y'all. My name is Sam Porter Bridges, it's my job to reconnect us. Thank you.